Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to colorize old black and white images and videos using OpenCV. I will also be showing you how to use CUDA to achieve a speed up while colorizing the videos. Let's get started. I have two empty files here, colorizer.py which will be used to implement our class and main.py which we will use to write our driver program. I have a pre-trained model which is shared by Rich Yang, the link is in the description below. Check out the original paper on the details of the model. In the input folder, I have some black and white images and videos. And the output folder is empty, which will be used to save colorized images and videos. Now we will start implementing our colorizer. First of all, import numpy, cv2, time, and from OS module, import split text, base name, and join methods. Let's declare the init function in the class colorizer, which takes two arguments, height and width, which will be used as the default resolution of the images and videos. Let's save this height and width in the local variables. Now read the model using DNN module of CV2. As the original model is a cafe model, so we will use read net from cafe method and provide the paths to proto text and cafe model files. Now this model also contains the pre-trained cluster centroids, which are provided as numpy dump. We can load this file by calling np.load method, take transpose of cluster centers and set them to a particular layer of the model. The name of this layer is class 8 underscore ab. Now in another layer called com8 underscore 313 underscore rh, we set an array of shape 1 cross 313 filled with values 2.606. That's it, the model is ready and now we need a method called process image, which takes the image name as an argument, reads that image and loads it in the variable called self.img. Then we resize the image as per given width and height. Now we want to colorize this image. So for that, I am defining another method called process frame. Before providing the black and white image to the model for colorization, we need to swap the blue and red channels because OpenCV reads the image as BGR while the model is trained on RGB channels. Now we normalize the image by dividing it with 255. This would convert all the values between 0 and 1. Then we need to convert RGB color space to lab color space which separates the color information and the luminance. Save the channel 0 which is called L channel and it contains the luminance information. We will need it later. Now we need to resize the lab image as the model is trained on 224 cross 224 image resolution. We also need to save L channel of this resized image and subtract value 50 from it. Our image is ready to be converted from black and white or grayscale to colored image. Let's call our model and set input to the resized L channel that we just extracted. If we do a forward pass, we will get the output as first element of the resultant array. This result is 256 cross 256, so we need to resize it to the original resolution. Now we need to concatenate the original L channel with this result. That's because the result has color information while L channel has the luminance information and all these three channels combined will form a colored image. Next we need to clip all values between 0 and 1. And finally we denormalize the IMG out by multiplying it with 255 
and converting the data type to unsigned integer 8. Our colored image is ready, but we can stack it horizontally with original black and white image for side by side comparison and place it in a new variable called img final. Now call this process frame method inside process image and you will have the final image ready. We can save it in output folder and show it on the screen. In main.py, let's import colorizer and instantiate it. Call the process image function on any image from input folder and run main.py. Oops, I made a spelling mistake. Let's fix colorizer spellings. Run the main again. There is another typo. I missed a bracket. Run again and there is another error. This bracket should not be at the end, it should be here after the size. Run again. And success. We have the input image at the left and the colored image on the right. Let's run the code on a couple of more images. Pure magic. For videos, we can make another method in our class which takes video path as input and tries to read the video. If the reading is not successful, we return the function with error message. Otherwise, we read the first frame. Now we also need to display FPS on the video, so we declare the previous and next frame variables and set initial time to 0. We need to save the output videos as well, so we initialize video writer that takes the file name from the original video path and adds an extension .avi at the end. And mjpg is a safe option for the encoder and we also want to maintain the original FPS for the video. Finally, set the width and the height for the video. We have multiplied the width by 2 because we also want to append the original black and white frame for side by side comparison. So the width would be doubled. Next, we want to run a loop as long as the frame is successfully captured, resize the frame, call the process frame function and write the frame using our video writer. Now we calculate the FPS and convert it to string and put the FPS on the top left corner with offset of 5 pixel on the x-axis and 25 pixels on the y-axis. Note that we are putting the FPS after we have saved the frame. So the FPS won't be shown on the output video, but we would be able to see it on the live preview. For text color, I am choosing white by setting all values as 255. You can choose any color of your choice. Now let's show this final output on screen and also wait for a key press. And if Q key is pressed from the keyboard, break this loop. Try to read the next frame. If the loop ends, release the video, output writer, and close all CV2 windows. That's the implementation for the video colorizer. Let's try it in the main.py. I have this video 1949.mp4 which we can pass as parameter and we have a typo again this packet should be here I hit this autocomplete let's correct it and run again there is another typo this variable should be self.img final and there we have it video is being colorized successfully we are achieving 2-3 FPS but the final video is saved in output folder and we can run it with proper speed. If you have built OpenCV with CUDA support, you can achieve a speed up.
let's introduce another parameter called use underscore CUDA and add these two magic lines which set the backend and target of DNN module to CUDA. Now if we set use underscore CUDA to true, we get the FPS of 12 to 13 which is a 5 times speed up. Try the code on your videos or images and let me know in the comments down below if it was helpful. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you in the next one.